Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode of Crafting Mondays and I've had such a busy week this week that I've barely had time to do anything. Um, so hopefully if any of you are having a busy week as well, this will be something you can squeeze in with very little time. Uh, so this week we're making uh, crocheting cleaning cloths. So this one is made out of wool. Um, it's acrylic wool, so not that actually like, great for cleaning, but I've done it in this colour to so hopefully in this tutorial to show you how it works. But other good um, materials to make it out of include jute, this is 100% jute, completely biodegradable. And otherwise, if you want anything a bit softer, something maybe to use as a duster or you know, a, a, a sort of delicate surface cleaner, if you've got anything like granite or marble worktops, you can use something like butcher string, which is 100% cotton, and you'll get pretty good results out of that. Otherwise, the only other thing you need is a crocheting hook. Um, I use the 6.5 millimeter crocheting hook, but you can get them in tons of different sizes. I'd say the, be the bigger it is, probably the easier it is to make something quicker because you'll have bigger gaps between the loops of thread. Um, but anything you've got to hand will work fine. And if you haven't got one, they're super easy to get hold of. Probably if you go around to your local thrift store, we'll have loads for a few pence each. Either that or I got some metal ones, um, again, from a local, local arts and craft shop. So the first tutorial is to how to make a nice flat piece like this. This probably only took me about 20 minutes to make. Obviously, it'll take you a bit longer if you've not done it before, but hopefully the video will show you how to make it. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you an easy trick to turn it into a scrubber. So you can replace the uh, otherwise scrubbing heads that you have normally. So my husband is not zero waste and he finds it very convenient to use these on the end. I'm going to try and see if I can convert him to using this instead. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but otherwise, of course, if you enjoy watching this uh, video and you find it useful, uh, please subscribe and uh, press the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. I'll be making craft videos every Monday, so hopefully you find them useful. Without any further delay, let's get on to the video. Okay, so for this tutorial, just to help you be able to see the colour better, I've got a purple ball of uh, acrylic yarn. Uh, it's less than 10 grams, I think. Um, it is acrylic, so it will release micro um, plastics when you're scrubbing with it, so it's not really ideal for a scrubber, um, but it really is just for illustrative purposes. Obviously, if you have yarn that is 100% natural fibres, then by all means, use a scrubber or a duster, that'll be great. And to start with, you need to make a sort of, I think it's called a slip knot, um, and that'll just be the sort of starting point of your whole project. So, pop your hook through the loop. Give it a bit of a tighten, not too tight though. And then to start with, we need to make a chain. So you have the long part of your thread and you wrap it round the tip of the hook. And then you pull that through the loop you already had on your hook. So you still only have one loop on your hook, but it's a different loop of thread to what you had before. So to make another one again, long piece of thread, wrap it round the hook, and drag that through. There we go, so hopefully that's pretty straightforward. For my project I made 21 chains, but it really doesn't matter what size you use, obviously just make it to the size that you want. So... We'll skip ahead. So I've made quite a long chain here, as you can see. Um, it's easier if it's more uniform. Next step is to do treble crocheting. So you have to go back to, so I'm counting back to here. So you yarn around the hook again, and then you insert the hook through the space in the chain, two chains back, and now you've got three loops on your hook. You yarn around the hook again, and drag that through the chain, so now you've got three loops, and then drag it through two loops, and then yarn around the hook again, and through the remaining two hoops, so you only have one left. And then it gets a bit easier from now, so you just put it in the next chain space along. So yarn round hook, put that through the chain space, yarn round hook again, drag that through, you've got three loops on your hook, yarn round again, drag it through two, and then yarn round a final time and drag it through the remaining two loops. And there you have it. So it's just that starting bit really that's the most tricky and then you just continue doing the same process through every single chain hole 
um, on your way down till you get to the end of the row. So I'll just show you one last time. So yarn round through, yarn round through, three loops on the hook, yarn round again, through two, you've got two left, yarn round again, through two, and you've only got one left. And that's it. So just continue that to the end. So I've got to the end here, and now I've got to turn the corner and come back the way we came. So again, getting your long piece of thread, and we're chaining twice, like we did, that was the first stitch we did, so chaining twice. So yarn round hook, pull through, yarn round hook again, pull through, and that sort of counts as your first treble stitch for that first stitch, and then we look to the second stitch, and we're doing the same treble stitch as we are doing before. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. There we go, and then you just work your way along. This is what it looks like after I've done three rows. So you can see that actually I've only done three rows and I've built quite a lot of height already. It's not quite as high as I want it yet, so I'll keep going. Um, but yeah, you can make quite a big piece of fabric in quite a short piece of time, which is why I like doing it this way. Now I've got to the end. I think I've done about eight rows in the end. I've just done a granny knot at the top left corner. Okay, so bonus tip time. So this will turn your cloth that you just made into a scrubber to go at the end of a scrubbing bush. So I've got a piece of jute here that I've crocheted and I'm folding it in half. And this is gonna give the sort of padding and sort of durability that we need for our scrubbing brush. And then I've left a long edge when I've cut it off, I've left a long edge and I'm going to weave that in and out of the edges all the way around I'm using my crocheting hook. Once that's all done, obviously it looks pretty much the same, but put that thread all the way around and now you just need to pull on that thread and you can see it's all gathering up. There we go. So all gathering up and it's made a nice little pouch and that's just the right sort of size of shape for the scrubbing end brush that I've got. So I've wrapped it round, made it nice and tight, and there we go. It's um, nice and durable, it's not going to go anywhere. There's a lot of sort of scrubbing brush on it, on the base. Um, and obviously the end is plastic, but this will hopefully add some extra durability. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it.